my wife complains that uh, um, I mumble too much, so hopefully I'll be, uh, you'll be able to hear me. But my name is Joseph Contreras, United States Center Bureau. Um, you know Dan from church. We enjoy serving, the, serving together in our church. Um, I was born and raised in Southern California. Uh, just so you know a little bit about um, you know, how I landed here in Huntington Beach. Uh, basically, I, I, I lived on the East Coast. Hot. Too hot. Florida. Too humid. I lived in Europe. Too cold. So I'm happy to be back in Southern California where it's just right, you know? Overcast is just right. Sun is just right. It's all just right. So I'm happy to be here. Um, uh, why am I here? Well, the 20, 20 census is coming up. The decennial census. And uh, that, of course, is um, required by our U.S. Constitution, and really it's the foundation of our, of our great country, you know, of our government, of democracy and representation. In 1790, Congress, uh, or the Constitution, um, at the beginning of our uh, nation, um, required that every 10 years the, uh, the census would be done every 10 years, in which everyone in the United States um, living here is counted. The first one was done in 1790, and we haven't failed to do one since then. This is our 24th uh, decennial census as the Constitution requires. And so, you know, what's the, what's the census all about? It's about uh, reapportionment of uh, seats in the House of Representatives. So, the, uh, for example, the 2010 census, uh, the results of that census um, basically added a couple seats to the state of Texas, to Florida, uh, states like New York and Ohio lost seats, uh, but all that is is based on participation in the census, and so we want to make sure that every community um, is 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 uh, committed and faithful and true to um, use their scary. obligation and, be, and being counted in, in the uh, census because that will affect uh, representation. It'll also represent um, how 675 billion dollars annually is distributed. And so, um, again, low census counts will um, can possibly rob a community of vital services, um, community block um, grant funds, um, you know, that will go to senior homes, they'll go to schools, go to roadways. And so, um, representation, uh, funding, federal funding, and also basically it determines congressional and district um, legislative lines in, in each state. So what happens with the census, uh, this year it's gonna be very accessible. A lot of, uh, a number of you have been uh, asking about this. It's gonna be um, available entirely online. There'll still be the normal three formats, online, paper form, or telephone, uh, but it will be available online. You can do it on your cell phone anywhere. And um, you'll be getting probably a uh, mail out um, throughout the upcoming year, um, postcards, letters, um, samples, and just reminders um, to be help get you ready. So census begins in January of next year in, in Alaska and in remote parts. In March of next year is when you'll be able to start going online and completing the census. April 1st, the census day after uh, April and then May, that's when the enumerators, the door-to-door the, the door -door people will go out and, and uh, knock on your door if you haven't done it already and help you fill it out. But it's going to be accessible, and of course, uh, English and Spanish, but also in 12 other non-English languages. Like, um, I don't have the list here, but uh, 12 non-English languages and 59 other languages will have helps, like glossaries and things like that. So it's going to be very accessible. Now, the reason why we're starting now in getting word out about the census is because every community has low count areas, and there's a um, an app on the census webpage called Rome, um, R O A M, and basically you can put in your zip code or put in a city, and look at your um, your city's response from the last census. And dark areas will indicate that your uh, neighborhood or area was you know maybe had a low participation rate, like 30 percent, like the lowest is between 30 and 40 percent. There are areas that did not participate in the 2010 census. That again um, robs us of representation, robs us of funds, and uh, you know we, we want to make sure we get a complete and accurate count. So some of those, uh, among those hard to count areas include even children under, uh, under five years old. Just for one reason or another, they tend to be a, a low count. So we want to make sure they get counted 
um, uh, senior citizens um, um, tend to be low counted. So I've been going around uh, Seal Beach, Huntington Beach, Fountain Valley, and just talking with the, the community centers there that serve them, making sure they are on board and helping uh, our elderly um, and our veterans get counted as well. And so there's, so there's many other areas that are low count, but um, how can we, how can you help us at the census? Basically, uh, what we're doing is we're partnering with local governments, uh, each city, and forming complete count committees uh, where every sector of an organization is represented in the committee, and you know they will go out and work within their sector and make sure they're promoting and advertising and, and encouraging people to participate in the census. Um, but also what you can do is, so you can uh, go to your city and see if a complete count committee has been formed and join it, or we work with every organization. If you're a business owner um, or a nonprofit worker, uh, please, I have a form here. Um, I would love it if you would sign your or put your name, put an organ your organization, or if you know of an organization, a nonprofit or a community outreach organization, if you would uh, um, give me their name, or maybe a phone number, an email. Those are great ways to help me be in contact with them, so that we can work with them in promoting. So really, what we're in right now is an education and awareness phase. We want to start getting the word out that census numbers are important. Um, it's it's constitutional, it's entirely protected <coughs> by Title 13 of the U.S. Code, and so there's absolute confidentiality, privacy, um, and all information is protected. The census, statistics, census information is only published in statistical totals, and so there's no need to, to uh, worry about that. So anyways, I would love to be able to speak um, in other uh, organization meetings, things like that, anywhere where I can help um, your community um, be at ease and be willing to participate and, and help us get a complete count um, as, our, as our Constitution requires us. Um, also, one other thing is there are lots of census jobs available. Um, you only need to be 18 or over, um, have a background check, um, U.S. citizen, and there's preference to veterans. And there are positions anywhere from field workers all the way up to, you know, to office workers, supervisors, uh, management positions. They're temporal positions, um, but they are good pay. I think it, they start anywhere from $15 an hour for the office workers, $20 an hour for field workers, $38 on up for supervisors and, and manager uh, <coughs> positions. So I have information about jobs, other information about confidentiality, about the importance of counting children. Um, I love to take your questions. I'll be here throughout the entirety of this um, um, uh, uh, this gathering, and um, yeah, help us uh, help us look forward to 2020 and getting a complete count. Awesome, thank All you, right, Joe. Thanks.